Hey guys, this is Josh and Jessica of Beach Billy Lifestyle. Today is rabbit breeding day on our property. And we'll just tell you a little bit about why we started um, in the rabbit business. Uh, we've kind of just thought more and more about what we feed our family and it's nice to know where our meat comes from. Rabbit in American society is mostly a pet. So people look at us like we're a little strange when we say they're for meat, but it works, I promise. And it's very healthy, right? Yes, um, most people can digest rabbit better than any other protein out there. Um, and it does taste like chicken, but it's rabbit, so. It's got more protein than chicken and uh, a lot leaner than chicken as well. So our girls today, we have Frosty over here. Um, she's gonna be the one that's being bred today. And then we've got Oreo. Our boys named her that due to her ears and fur color and everything. Um, she's already been a mama uh, two times. Uh, actually, she's pregnant right now. So this yeah, we is bred her second her, pregnancy. We bred her last week, I think it was or two weeks ago. Um, so she's on her second pregnancy. Okay, right here we have a mixture of Frosty and Oreos litter from last month. Um, there, they range from about eight to 12 weeks, which means um, the ones that are 10 weeks old to 11 weeks old are a couple days away from being cold. And we're gonna do a little video about that to show you how we process them. Um, but they grow super fast. Introducing you to the dude, as we named him. Uh, he's just kind of hanging out, ready for us to bring his girlfriends or one of his girlfriends over. Um, and kind of do what we have him on this farm to do. I have uh, another assistant with me today. This is our middle son, Lucas. Can you tell everybody, hey? Hey. He's gonna help us with this part. Um, one thing about growing up on a farm is you learn a lot about the birds and the bees at an earlier age. Okay, awkward. All right, let's go. So one thing you always wanna do is take the doe. And rabbits is kind of like um, the same as deer. Uh, the male's a buck and the female's a doe is how they refer to them. And you always wanna take the doe to the buck. You never take the buck out of his cage and bring it to the doe because the does are actually very territorial and they will attack the buck. Uh, they're like, you know, no, -uh, you ain't coming to my house type deal and we'll attack them. But for some reason, when you bring them over to the buck, they're a little more relaxed. They're ready to um, do the deed. And uh, the date goes a lot better when you do it that way. So that's kind of what we're gonna do right now. Come here, sweet girl. Come here. Come here. All right. Y'all do y'all's thing. You hear him make a little noise. He's actually enjoying himself. You know it's successful when he falls off. He'll do his thing and then he'll like stiffen up and he'll fall down and fall off. And uh, what you want is to have about two or three good fall offs, as we call it. And you know that uh, the breed was successful. But he might here in a second do some stomping. And that's kind of him letting her know. And he'll love on her. He's gonna go kiss on her and tell her how pretty she is. And you know, do the typical thing. He's gonna give her, tell her sweet nothings in the ear. But you notice the stomping right there is he's letting her know that he's still ready and he's aggressive and that's kind of like him flexing his muscles to her. Thank you for watching our video on breeding rabbits. Check back in a couple weeks and we should have a video on our baby bunnies. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe button right there. Thank you for watching. Bye.